how to calculate density. First, we must know what density is in order to calculate it. So, what is it? Simply put, density is the amount of a substance in a measured 3D space. We call that 3D space volume. Volume is usually measured in cubic centimeters or milliliters. What does volume have to do with density? Quite a bit, actually. Density is how much mass of a substance you can have in a volume. We notice different densities almost every day. I suspect you would be more willing to carry a block of styrofoam up a mountain than an equal volume of lead. You can have a large object with very little mass or the same size object with a large mass. The higher the mass per unit of volume, the higher the density. So if density is the amount of mass in a volume, then dividing the mass of a substance by its volume tells us how much mass is contained in one unit of volume. The official equation is density equals mass divided by volume. Let's see how this works with an experiment. To calculate the density, we need to know the mass and volume of our corn syrup. So let's first measure out the mass of our container, since we are only interested in the mass of the syrup. My beaker weighs 48 grams. Now I will measure out 20 milliliters of corn syrup. The scale gives us the total mass of corn syrup and the beaker. Time for some math. We subtract the mass of the beaker from the mass of the beaker containing corn syrup. We do not want the mass of the container in the calculation. So we subtract and that gives us a difference of 27 grams. To calculate density, we take some of the mass of the syrup, which is 27 grams, and divide that by the volume of 20 milliliters. We do the math and we get a resulting density of 1.4 grams per milliliter, rounded to two significant figures. What that means, for every milliliter of volume, I have 1.4 grams of corn syrup. Let's do another calculation, this time using water. If you have a digital scale, the easy way to get the mass of an object minus the container is to use the tear function. Place the container on the scale and then press tear. Now add 20 milliliters of water to the measuring cup. This is our volume. The scale does the work and gives us the mass of water, and I have 19 grams. Now we do the calculation. We divide 19 grams by 20 milliliters, and that gives me a density of 0.95 grams per milliliter. That rounds to 1.0 grams per milliliter. As a side note, the density of water varies slightly with temperature. I get this figure as my scale is not precise to the 10,000th place. Now let's do one more example. Let's do peanut oil. We measure the mass, 18 grams, and we get a volume of 20 milliliters. Divide the mass of 18 grams by 20 milliliters, and we get a density of 0.9 grams per milliliter. Let's pour these different liquids into a glass and see how the different densities affect each other. The least dense substance flows on top, followed by the water and corn syrup at the bottom. The least densest substance atoms are unable to press through the denser substances below it. And that is density. And this is The Boring Voice. Thanks for watching.